Facebook fan pages. And I'm not just talking about how to set up a fan page. I'm talking about using Facebook as a medium to launch an informational product. It's an awesome medium. And we're going to show you how to prepare your fan page for just that, how to communicate and position yourself as the expert. Because I talk about something that I consider to be called no like and trust okay and i want to think about your own buying habits when you buy from someone right you typically know them right and you like them you've created a relationship and so there's some like there and you begin to trust them over time as that relationship grows right so if you've got a relationship with someone that you know like and trust them you feel safe to come back to them for advice for conversation on a certain topic. And if that individual has a solution to a problem you have and they offer that up to you, you will most likely buy that solution, right? Because you know, like, and trust them. Think about your own buying habits, both online and offline. So we're gonna talk about how to create that know, like, and trust through your Facebook account and actually uh, position that demographic or that list to buy from you. So first off, let's fly on over to Facebook. Okay, type Facebook on into my search engine, select Facebook, and up comes my Facebook uh, page. And here it is now. And yeah, here we go. So this here is a picture of myself that um, uh, was shot of me about three, no, about a year ago, last year, when I was on a three-month uh, vacation, working vacation in Thailand. And you can see it's dark out, so uh, I had to work at night because that's during the day in the States, night in Thailand. And you can see uh, I love what I do. I was happy-go-lucky that night, and uh, someone captured that image, and, and there it is. So, and this here is my daughter, Desiree, and we talk about our whys. And this is a huge why for me and keeps me going all day long. And this is my Facebook page, my personal page. It is not my fan page, right? And if it was a fan page, it would say whether it was a business page, a uh, branding page, or a public figure page. This is my personal page, okay? On your personal pages, guys, this is where you post things like uh, status updates, uh, you post things like, you know, the movie you saw, uh, things that are going on in your day, your favorite color, uh, pictures of your family, that sort of thing, okay? Not really where you want to post business. So you want to create fan pages. And there's do's and don'ts of fan pages. I'm going to show you a couple examples. Here's a fan page for a gal. Her name is uh, Michelle Pescascolito. Michelle is a uh, professional online marketer. And she's really got this thing down, right? So on Facebook, guys, you want to remember that these are social medias. They're like a party. So you have to keep it open, airy, fun, entertaining, controversial, entertaining, really. Uh, and a good way to do so is with questions. So here Michelle's like, what are your biggest obstacles when it comes to online marketing, right? And she's created a, um, a survey and she's got 19 votes, six votes here, five votes here. And she's got a couple more categories, right? We scroll down and she's talking about needing a hotel in Boston. And she's got eight comments, a couple of likes right here. She's talking about, uh, okay, may I share it? Very conversational. And she gets five comments, 30 people like this, right? Here she's talking about the Texan game. She's a Texas fan. Everyone knows that. She's getting a little personal here. All right, talking about edge rank. So she knows what her demographic likes. So she's talking about this stuff and getting great comments, great activity on these posts, okay? She is positioning herself as the expert in the space. And then she'll throw in a request to buy. So here she's talking about her her uh, her document for solo ads, right? Solo ad report that she's got. Here she's talking about an event that she's speaking at. Uh, and people are responding, okay? Uh, four comments here, et cetera. So she really knows, 24 people like this one, how to manage her uh, her presence to position herself as the expert in her space and create that know, like, and trust, all right? Let's take a look at another one. This is Dorinda's Chocolates. Um, I love this one. I love chocolates, and Dorinda really knows what she's doing. She puts out some great chocolates, right? And let's take a look at how she's managing her her um, 
you know, her image here. Uh, Baby, it's cold outside. Come on in today for some chicken soup and dumplings, right? Chicken and dumpling soup. It's a great picture. And here we've got nine people liking it, four comments, right? Here she's talking about her association with the Chocolate and Wine Festival. People are liking that. Here she has one of her baristas, bartistas, or, or I guess he's in the kitchen cooking, talking about, uh, you know, asking how much ganache does it take to make a batch of pumpkin truffles. You got some response there. All right, here, it's getting spooky in here because of Halloween. All right, people are liking that. So you can see that she's got some great pictures showing what's going on in her uh, in her cafe. Here she's got 10 comments, 15 likes. Okay, she's not just coming out and saying, hey, buy my chocolate, but people are making the connection that her chocolate is good and they want to go buy because uh, of what's going on here. You know, oh, major yum, oh, what? You know, talking about these uh, pumpkin truffles, right? So even when she's, you know, showcasing her pumpkin truffles, she's not saying, hey, pumpkin truffles come by. She's saying, who likes pumpkin truffles? And people, 13 people like that and four people comment. So by virtue, she's positioned herself as this expert, okay? Now, there's two things you want to do above and beyond, uh, um, you know, managing your conversations here. There's, you want to make sure you drive traffic to this page. You want to get people to like this page and create more and more likes and I'm going to share with you two ways to do that one is through paid advertising and the second is through organic or free advertising okay so let's take a look at the paid advertising Avenue first all right so if I go to my newsfeed and I'm going to my newsfeed because I want to jump into the advertising section if you've never created an ad then if you scroll to the very bottom and it'll it'll keep on right here see create an ad you can click on that and I'll take you to the page but I am I've already got um, my uh, ad management going so I can just click here and this is really where you want to go guys as you begin to um, you know run ads you want to go to your campaign manager and right here just create a new ad okay so when you go in here and create a new ad you are asked first do you want to uh where, where you want to have your destination you want to have it in facebook or an outside url you can drive your traffic to a um you know a land page on your website etc all right so we want to you can do uh, a search or you can do you know, run for your pages and here's a couple pages that i manage so if i select a merchant doctor as where i want it to be my destination okay i just chose that next I want to say, do I want to get more likes to that page? Do I want to promote a post within that page? And this is pretty cool, guys. I want to touch on this for a second. If you choose this option, then you can actually create a post. Let's say for Dorinda, that um, that chocolate and, and wine festival. And then you can drive traffic from, from Facebook at large to that post, bringing people to that event and also to your fan page to like it. That's extremely effective. Okay, some advanced options we're not going to touch on, but... Today we're going to talk about getting more likes to your page. So let's select that guy. And right here, um, they're going to create the headline, which is the Merchant Doctor. And here you can, you have some, some default text that comes off my page, or you can type your own. Now you get 90 characters to type in, and questions are always a good way to go. So if I, you know, just so you don't, you know, the Merchant Doctor specializes in merchant processing for small business, right? So if I say something like, um, Okay, let's start off. Um, right, are you paying too much for your credit card processing? Um, hop on, hop on over and give us a like and join the Merchant Doctor and join the Merchant Doctor Revolution. Okay. So you can see I'm 16 characters over. So we need to correct that. So are you paying too much? So I can quickly just say something like this and just say paying too much for your credit card processing. Hop on over and give us a like. Hop on over, give us a like. So I can say hop on over, comma, give give us a like join the merchant doctor revolution and we still got three so we'd have to change paying too much for 
take out your paying too much for credit card process and hop on over and give us a like. So there we have, and we have two characters left. That's how it looks, perfect. Now, we can choose where we want when they click on this, where it actually lands, you know, go on our timeline or one of our tabs. This will become in handy when we show you how to um, set up your campaign for your launch on Facebook. So we'll get back to that in another section. All right, this is something that's really cool, sponsored stories, all right? So I know we've all seen this, Jane Doe likes the Merchant Doctor, okay? So if Jane Doe has influential uh, pull amongst her fans and they see that, they'll be like, well, if Jane likes the Merchant Doctor, then I must like it, I should check it out. So this comes up, Jane Doe likes the Merchant Doctor, but also Joe Smith and three others. So uh, if Jane and Joe and these three other guys like it, well, well, heck, it must be something I gotta check out. This is called the herd complex in um, psychology. It's basically people want to herd to the same thing. They don't want to be left out. And this was very effective, guys. Very effective, okay? So I like this a lot. Um, some advanced options, URL tags. If you don't know what this stuff is, there's always a question mark. You just hover over the question mark, and it's going to explain to you what that is. We're not going to worry about that for now. We're going to jump down here. So here's where we set up our demographic and uh, our targeting, I should say, for our demographic. And here we start up at 167,820,000. We're definitely in the United States. Uh, one of the things I wanna tell you, and you just have to take my word for it, because this is not a, a, a course in Facebook marketing per se, but you really want, in my um, experience, to get this number down closer to around 5,000. And one of the reasons is, is because, you know, for your budget, you want your ad to be shown to your demographic an average of five to seven times. And when they keep seeing it, keep seeing it, they will eventually click on it. And you want to keep it down around 5,000. So a cool way, you know, if you're local, you can uh, pick your city or state. Let's just go state. Um, the Merchant Doctor actually dominates in California. So we'll pick California. That's going to drop us down to 21 million. Now this age thing. You know, there's a thing called split testing, and the age is a great um, uh, variable to split test with. Now, processing, you know, I don't think 13-year-olds will do it, but, you know, 20-year-olds. I like to go in brackets of 10 years. So I'll go 20 to 30 years old, and then I'll create several ads, 20 to 30, 31 to 40, 41 to 50, right, and then 50 and, and above, right? And so that way, uh, I will see in my results that uh, one age group is performing better. I'll pause the other ads, and I'll go into that age group, and then I'll start to even more uh, uh, split test. I'll take the headline, and I'll make four different headlines, and I'll see which one's performing best. And I'll go in there, and then I'll change like the picture. That's how you split test and hone down your results. Again, this is not a, a course in, in, in marketing uh, per se, but that's a good tidbit. Activity. You don't want to muddy it too much by choosing a bunch of these things. You want to kind of keep it clean. But I know that the Merchant Doctor does small business, so I'm going to select the small business heading here. That's going to drop my audience down now to 370,000. I like that. Okay. I can even type in a precise interest like entrepreneur, you know, um, entre, um, and we should get um, entrepreneurs in here. I can't spell entrepreneurs. I'm sure. Uh, I'm, I'm horrible. But then uh, if you can spell, it'll come up and you can select that. And that'll come up in here. And again, bring it down even further. But uh, we're not going to get into that right now. So 370 is where we're at. There's some more uh, advanced targeting options. If you're doing a dating site, for example, this might be um, of interest. But I think we'll... We'll just go with all here, okay? Uh, friends of connections, you can select that. That's going to target you down even further. Um, but um, I think right here, this is something I want to point out. And that is we have only people not connected to the Merchant Doctor going to see this. Because we're driving traffic for likes. And if we have you know anyone, then people who already like it are going to see our ad. And we want to make sure it's only seen by people who don't like it uh, for this particular um, application. Advanced connection targeting. Again, you can get in here and target people who, you know, target people who are connected to certain people, target people who are not connected to certain people. Um, <clears throat> you know, play with this stuff, guys, and, and look at your results. One of the absolute cool things about the internet is that results are instantaneous. I love that. Education. 
you know, in in the um, in in the vein of trying to get this down a little further, I'm going to say college grad, and then you can even type in what college you want um, and names of the workplace, etc. Okay. Make sure you give your your campaign a name. Um, so we'll say Facebook uh, test um, just for. I can't even spell. <laughs> dyslexic today uh, and then your campaign budget you want to make sure you you hone on this now you can choose a per day budget or a lifetime budget I like the per day budget and certainly 10 or 20 dollars is plenty to get started with and you can always ramp this up um, as you see fit and now here run my campaign continuously starting today that's what Facebook would like you to see you do I like to manage that more by selecting my, my times you can go in here and select your different dates and times that's my preference. If you want to run the continuous, by all means, just click that and it'll run the continuous. <clears throat> now, optimizing pricing. Uh, right now, uh, if I click on switch to advanced pricing, you'll see that by default, it is on your bid will be optimized to help to make users more engaged with your page given your budget. I don't like this. Uh, Facebook does because they crank right through your budget. Um, what I like is to optimize it for clicks, okay? And you want to manually set your, your click value. And here it's going to give you a range. I always like to start with a buck, okay? And then just manage it from there. Your ideal range is around 50 cents or less per click. And as you get more experience, you will actually hit that target. Uh, review your ad and then just place your order, okay? And that's really it. So... Um, I want to show you a couple of ideas for your um, for 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 uh, organic. Now, um, using Dorinda's chocolates as a um, as as a um, example, uh, C C H. Okay, so I'm going to hit more results, and there's two strategies I want to share with you on on this one here. One is I want you to find a, um, you know, at least five uh, fan pages of like interest. Now, if it's chocolate, you can type in chocolate, you can type in baking, you can type in, um, you know, goodies, candy, that sort of thing, right? You want to find like-minded audiences, and then um, you're going to do something I know all of you guys are familiar with, and that's you're going to start a joint venture. This is really cool. <clears throat> love joint ventures are such a great way to build your business now in this particular joint venture you're gonna find five of these uh, uh, pages um, contact the admin and when you do joint ventures guys it's all about them you're gonna say hey I noticed your fan page looks awesome I have a fan page also and I'd like to promote your fan page to my audience what do you say and they're gonna say great love that idea and say, yeah, you know, I'm going to propose a joint venture with you. I'll, I'll, I'll send it to my fan page. And in, in return, I'd like you to send your fans to my fan page. Why? Because we have a lot of great content on there that's all about chocolate as well. And I think your fans will love that. And they'll thank you for it at the end of the day. And together we can grow our list. They're going to be like, great. Now, I want you to do that with five of these like-minded fan pages. Contact the admin. And that will quickly grow your list, uh, your likes on your fan page. Again, positioning yourself uh, uh, for this launch you can eventually do. Uh, you want to build your fan base and manage your content so that you position, you position yourself as the expert creating that no like, and trust. Okay? Hope this is uh, crystal clear to you guys. The second thing I want to uh, uh, share with you is that you can actually go in to one of these, uh, many of these fan pages, find the fan pages that, that you really like, right? Actually go into the fan page, all right? And you know it's a fan page, it says product and service, and go in here and actually comment as your fan page, not as you personally, as your fan page, and go in here and comment on this stuff. And the more you begin to comment, on these things, is this chocolate making you guys as hungry as it's making me? <laughs> uh, 
uh, the more you begin to comment on these uh, on, on these posts, the more you position yourself as an expert. It's so effective, and people can be like, "Well, who is this Dorinda's Chocolate? I got to go check them out." They have uh, they always have great comments, and they'll, you'll start to bring people on over. Okay, now a lot of people are saying, "Well, how do you comment like your fan page?" So I'm just going to show you that real quickly here. So <clears throat> if I go into the Merchant Doctor, right? Because I'm an admin on the Merchant Doctor. And here's their fan page, right? Uh, I go right here under voice and I click. And right here says, you are posting comments and likes as David Abron change to the Merchant Doctor. So I just click that. And then from that point forward, I will be commenting as the Merchant Doctor. So you have to go into the fan page that you're an admin on, click voice and select the voice of that uh, fan page and then go in and do your search and you are commenting as that uh, as an individual, okay? So, recap. Couple of things, guys. One, when you uh, create your fan page, I want you to make sure that you um, elicit no like and trust positioning yourself as the expert in your field. You do so through conversational posts, controversial posts, um, and questions, right? And make sure you go back in, and I like to go back in twice a day to comment on the posts and the comments that other people are making so you can keep a conversation going. Secondly, you need to drive traffic to your fan page creating likes. Do so through sponsored stories, running ads in your sponsored stories, and do so through organic uh, joint ventures with like-minded fan pages as well as joint, uh, pardon me, as well as posting in those uh, fan pages uh, often and create a schedule for yourself that you can abide to and get this stuff done. All right. This is simple things to build your fan, your fan base presence, creating, position yourself as the expert in your niche to uh, ready that niche for your products. Okay. Very important. Good stuff. Just go out and do this stuff. All right. We'll see you on the next video.